Hi, welcome to this newly installed system. This is JWM. And I've just made a video how to build the ISO yourself. That's the point of the B. It's not the point to download it and uh, put it on USB, but actually build it yourself. Put an application on there you do like, like games or something, or less browsers or more browsers and so on, right? And then you just uh, burn it. Well, first build and then burn. Just wanted to make this video again. There are many videos about out there to show what I do. That's a personal workflow that I'm gonna show after every clean installation. It's entirely up to you to get from this video whatever you like and say, ah, oh, I wanna have that too, or I'm gonna do this, or I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna change the scripts, and that's the point, right? How to be up and running under 15 minutes. It can be done without hard disk, without anything USB-like or something like that. It's all on the cloud. What I'm gonna do is a Control alt f which is gonna launch Firefox. That's installed already. So if you wanna know what's installed on GWM, it's a minimal installation as usual, but the stuff that we need is here, right? The, the fun stuff, the tweak tool, toggles, conky zens are here, some screenshots, always wanna burn a USB. Right, varieties here for your wallpaper, melt, sublime text, graphics. So I've took the development uh, portion inside Calamars, you know, the very end. And all the rest uh, is just the way it was. All right, um, so okay, Firefox it is. And then we go to a URL. You can make your own URL with bit.ly.com. And I have created my own and it's pointing to a particular uh, file on my Dropbox, right? So you have Dropbox, Dropbox yourself, if you wanna have it anyway. And this URL is fixed. Might be number seven in the future, but this at this point is fixed. And you download a package, well, a tar GZ. It tries, it shows already what's inside, but just download the tar GZ, right? Then you have this, right mouse click, extract here, delete that one. Firefox has to go as well, warn me, blah, blah, blah. New nope. clue steps. And then get started. So take a look at what's, what's in here. This is because of all the GitHubs we have. So I have all my data on this PC in no time, if I want to, right? Logo Eric, I probably, you're not interested in those, but this is my virtual box setup. That's very specific to my hardware, okay? But you can have a template, it seems, of virtual box, right? And then you boot up again and you have your settings uh, set the way it should be. You don't need to do it over and over and over again. Things that I need to do over again, it's these. I'm gonna make a script for it. Now it says here, minimal start here. So that's what I'm gonna do, minimal start here. And that's what I run, right? I am, however, a bit, well, I'm gonna change the wallpaper, Alt N, because this one, We've seen it enough. And now we're gonna type in my password here. The wallpaper doesn't come. So this guy is responsible for the wallpaper. Next, must have pressed a wrong button. And in here are things to, to do. I mean, check out what's in there, right? Just open it up and check what it does. So in the file manager, in the downloads, already this is my my content, right? All this is empty, really. It just contains scripts and just one thing that's gonna do, it'll, it's gonna download Nemesis automatically and run it as well. So whatever I'm missing, I put in here. So after every clean installation of any operating system out there, you wanna change things because ah, you don't like this, ah, you don't like that. Well, that's it, this is it, right? This is the Nemesis thing and look at that. Otherwise I have to do that all by myself, all the time. No, after a thousand installations, you make a script, right? I say I'm not gonna do it over and over and over again. So that's the, the deal with the workflow. After a clean installation, this little thing makes my life easy. And this is certainly something for me, right? Do not install this just for the computer of Eric Dubois. Intel-based graphical card. So this works for me that might not work for you. I'm on GWM. I need to make videos like a ton of videos, right? So number 11 for me is no 
problems with my um, cart and with the recording. No lag or no, or no glitches. That's one of the tricks. So my system is up and running. The only thing I need to do is reboot. What did I do in the uh, in my files as well? Hidden away in the config in the auto start. Next time the conk is there, that's normal. Discord will be booted, InSync will be started, Telegram will be started, and they all will de be demanding my login and my password. And that's it. And everything, I sync whatever I want to sync, right? This is a application for Google Drive. I just say that particular folder and not the others. I'll maybe download the others later, but not at this point in time. And that's my workflow. And um, you can see if, if, it's, if any of this is makes sense and says, okay, that's quickly. Um, the only thing I need to do if I want to have all Arclix B ISOs, for instance, one of the beta testers really, really digs this because, well, open terminal here and you just press number one and you can build any ISO of Arc Linux. They're all here, Arc Linux B, they're just coming in, right? So at this point in time, we're talking about GWM and there he is. This is the code to build it. Run number 30, num number 40, and the result is you got an ISO. Then you burn it, you play with it. That's the B, right? It's really for you guys. B, build it yourself. And it's so super easy to build an, an ISO and we give you the power. Please use the power. All right, that's my workflow. You take from it what you want. Cheers.